And we are back. We've got the middleweight world final coming up. Tynan Dalpra of AOJ taking on Jansen Gomez of Checkmat. This match I feel like was a long time coming. Jansen was competing at medium heavy earlier this year. Dropped down to the middleweight division for the Worlds. These guys have some history. Fought in the colored belts. Both have wins over one another. And they are both looking pumped and ready for this middleweight final. Tynan Dalpra undefeated in IBDJF competition. 60 wins now, going for a 61st in this middleweight final. Unreal record. Look at this, Tynan. Trying to get things going right away. Jansen Gomez coming off of a victory versus Ty Rotolo in the semifinal. Tynan's got two Black Belt World titles, 2021 and 2022. Three Pan titles, a Brasileiro title, two European titles. He's been so dominant, over a 70% submission rate in his black belt matches. Unreal statistics. Jansen won the Europeans this year, 2023 in the medium heavy division. Took silver at the Pans. And now he's here at middleweight. Had two submissions yesterday. Had the win over Ty. Oh my God, yes. Jansen! Here he goes, Jansen on the back of Tynan Dalbra. Unbelievable, oh unreal. Jansen Gomez nearly takes the back of Tynan Dalbra. Two advantages on the board for Jansen Gomez. Tynan barely controlling that left leg of Jansen. What a moment. Jansen digging for that underhook. Tynan manages to get a little bit of space on the side of the map, but what a crazy moment. My heart is beating so fast right now. Jansen Gomez is quick. That guy moves fast. And the crowd is coming alive with the confidence of Jansen Gomez here. bit of discussion about the reset. Jansen up two advantages right now over Tynan Dalpra. This crowd is locked in on this match. It got so loud in here during that transition I could barely hear my own voice. Here we go. Action has restarted. Jansen Gomez on top, currently leading this match. And look at Jansen Gomez trying, getting right to work. Yeah, trying to get this double underpass going. Tiny keeping that left leg really heavy. Tiny's so good with that cross grip on the lapel. Trying to stand up. Gets to a single leg X. One of his best sweeping positions. Jansen does have an amazing base on top. Tynan working that right hand grip in the lapel. Starting to stretch Jansen out a bit, underhooking that leg. We see him use this position so much and so effectively in competition. To control that sleeve grip. Trying to hit Ben and force Jansen Gomez over, but the base of Jansen Gomez is in right over the top of Tyler Dalbert. Tyler gets Jansen to put his knee on the mat. Jansen with the pan grip on the top leg. As soon as Tynan gets the grip, immediately pushes. Trying Jansen to come up. Jansen with a great base still, but Tynan's got that far sleeve grip. Oh, Jansen, oh! Jansen Gomez! Big 
pass attempt from Jansen Gomez. Tynan recovers. And oh, here goes movement. Jansen. The crowd is coming more alive for Jansen Gomez. Trying to pass around to the side. He's got that grip on the collar with his right hand. This place is absolutely on fire for this middleweight final. Jansen Gomez still leading by two advantages over two-time black belt world champion Tynan Dalpra. Tynan looking for his third black belt world title. Jan Jansen looking for his first. The energy in the pyramid is absolutely crazy right now. <laughs> and an entire sea of AOJ competitors <laughs> going crazy in the crowd right now. Still on top with that left knee forward. Maintaining a really solid base. Try, Tynan trying to set up some of his sweeps. He's gotten to good sweeping positions. Tynan's got that lapel grip now. Underneath the leg of Jansen Gomez. Very good point of control. We've seen that in other black belt finals today. If he's able to take his left foot out, and get Jansen off balance going backwards. He could come up for a sweep here. And I think that Jansen Gomez's best bet is to avoid getting swept. I think that keeping Tynan Dalper on his back in this position, in this situation especially, is gonna be the best bet for Jansen Gomez. That's gonna be the clearest path to victory. Tynan able to get Jansen's hips to the mat. Jansen retracts his right leg, gets back up to his base. Still got that lapel grip with his left hand. Tiny trying to use that to sweep. Five and a half minutes into this middleweight final here at the 2023 Worlds. Jansen Gomez still in the lead. Two advantages to none over Tynan Dalpra, the two-time middleweight world champion. Both of these athletes have impeccable cardio for a match just like this, but you gotta think, Tynan has been the one pushing, trying to create openings, and Jansen has been patient, defending. I wonder if he's biding his time, looking for the next opening for a big explosion. A lapel grip is a difficult thing to deal with. We've seen that in other matches. Now Jansen trying to use his right foot on Tynan's hip, potentially. Yeah, he's trying to kick his leg out of that lapel entanglement. He needs to be careful not to give up the position, though. This left grip of Jansen Gomez has been giving Tynan Dalper problems in this position. I see, let's go right there. We're approaching the three minute mark here in this black belt middleweight final. Tynan trying to invert underneath Jansen. But look, once again, that left hand grip of Jansen Gomez. It's saving him at the moment, preventing too bad of an inversion. A little under three minutes to go. Tynan really trying to keep good control of that leg, force it to the other side of his hip. Jansen can afford to let this match go into 50-50 fight. He needs to keep that left hand grip on the collar and try to get out his left foot. Oh, and he gets Jansen that leg gets out. Up, disengages from the lapel grip. Now he's free. This is where Jansen's dangerous. Oh, and Jansen Gomez is putting the pressure on Titan Dolbra, and he's feeling himself out there. I cannot believe the energy in this building right now. It is, it's unbelievable. With opportunity to pass around the outside, Jansen Gomez. Almost seems like he's taunting Tynan Dalper out there a little bit. He's definitely confident right now. 
Tynan's gonna pull guard. Gets that cross grip with his right hand. Very dangerous from this position. Jansen trying to stack again. Gets his hips off the mat. Good position here for Jansen Gomez. Tynan's got great retention though. Gets his hips right back down to the mat. Is that collar grip that was able to bring his hips down. Out of danger for a bit. But one minute and 30 seconds for Tynan Dalper to make the comeback. Jansen still up those two advantages. He's in the top position. Tr Tynan trying to suck that right leg in of Jansen Gomez to get to that single leg X position where he's so good at sweeping from. Jansen using that left hand grip on the pants that you talked about earlier, Jake. Oh Tynan my trying goodness! To get up. Jansen forces him back down to the ground. We're at one minute. Fifty seconds. This is going to come down to the wire, Jake. Forty seconds. Jansen keeping that pant grip with his left hand. Could make it more difficult for Tynan to come up and get the sweep. 30 seconds, we're at 50-50 now. Oh my goodness, Tynan Dobra! Might just be able to come up for the sweep here. 20 seconds. Oh, Jansen, Jansen stays Gomez on top. Step back down. There's only 15 seconds. seconds. Oh my goodness. It's not gonna be enough time. Jansen Gomez is still on top. Jansen Gomez. Three, two, one, Jansen Gomez, middleweight world champion here at the 2023 Worlds. The only person in Tyron Gomez's black belt career to defeat him, Jansen Gomez. Shocks the grappling world here. One of the biggest upsets we've ever seen here at the World Championships. Tyron down for 60-0 heading into this match. 60-1 now, Jansen Gomez of Checkmat drops down to middleweight, hands tied in his first ever loss in IBJJF competition. This place is on fire. What an upset. In the 2023 middleweight black belt world champion Jansen Gomez. Unbelievable performance. And you gotta give it up to Tynan Dalpra. Was undefeated over 60 matches in IBJJF competition leading into that final. Tynan, one of the best black belts we've ever seen in the middleweight division. But Jansen gets the incredible upset victory. My gosh. There's, there's a combination of, we're looking around at the crowd with wide eyes and some people just can't believe what they just saw. But let's, let's look take, at the replay. Yeah, we gotta see the replay. This first scramble, Jansen tries to jump to the back. Nearly makes it happen, goes out of bounds. Look, both hooks in for just a second before Tynan makes a great move to get out of there. See a one more look so at quick, it. So quick, spinning to the back. And right here, as they go out of bounds, you see both hooks go in for just a second. Tynan makes the correct movement. And Jansen, whenever he had the opportunity, was so aggressive in attempting to pass the guard. Jansen on top is a monster. And I think the key to victory here, Danny, was not letting Tynan on top. He was able to stifle the sweep attempts of Tynan Dalpra. And you see right here, so confident. And in the, really the pivotal moment of the match, where it counted, Jansen Gomez defends the sweep from 50-50. And he's the 2023 IBJJF middleweight black belt world champion. Still over here by us on our side. Now with his father. In third place. Very emotional moment.